There are no strings on me. Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Connor, your Primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be covering the ISO SMG in Warzone. This is probably an SMG that a lot of newer players have, may not have even heard of before, but uh, it is a Modern Warfare weapon that was introduced in the actual base game quite a bit of a, a long time ago actually. I believe it was towards the end of around Season 5 or Season 6 of Modern Warfare. And this SMG was certainly competing with a lot of the top tier SMGs like the F MP5 in Warzone. And I feel like a lot of people sort of forgot about this SMG, so we're going to be revisiting this smg and show you guys the best setup that you could be using with this one because i actually do thoroughly enjoy this smg so let's go ahead and check out the class that we're going to be rocking here your first attachment on this one's going to be the nightshade barrel reason why you're going to be using the nightshade barrel is because this actually gives you the most amount of range possible and on top of that it is a built-in suppressor with the weapon and you're also gaining that recoil control as well this will replace your muzzle barrel so for those that are curious you cannot use a uh you cannot use a muzzle with this attachment so if you take it off you can use something like the monolithic but you don't need to because you're getting the maximum amount of range with the nightshade barrel next attachment is going to be your underbarrel with the commando foregrip uh previously with the mp5 we were rocking the merc foregrip but we're not going to be hip firing as much with this one you want you want to treat this like a sort of a pocket assault rifle so that's why the commando is going to be the way to go for this one to get that maximum recoil stabilization and aiming stability ammunition is going to be the 50 round mags this is going to give you the maximum amount of rounds with your weapon going to be needed especially dealing with high groups of people high groups of people uh especially on rebirth so that way you don't have to reload as much uh, but you will run out of ammo pretty quickly with this weapon Next attachment we're rocking is the FTAC Vagrant. It's going to give you that extra ADS speed as well with the weapon at the cost of aiming stability, which doesn't matter on an SMG. And last but not least, the FTAC Elite ISO Grip is going to be the way to go for your last attachment to give you that extra boost to your ADS speed and sprint to fire speed as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this gameplay. We got some nice little highlight and nice gameplay lined up for you guys with the ISO. This is a really fun SMG to use, and I'm glad I was able to have the opportunity to sort of take this thing out of the vault again. But uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy Carnage and Primitive AK, signing out. Peace out, fellas. I'm gonna go get a piece of
Apparently, I killed myself. You pro, sir. You're a pro, sir. Well, well, well. I did not know you were there. <laughs> this thing's got some range. Close call there. There's this dude chilling. Fuckers have me sighted. Not today, buddy. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, I can't do it all. GG. Jesus Christ. Enemy UAV overhead.
good to go. Enemy soldier incoming. Probably should be dead. No way, dude. Losing ground. We got recon online. UAV entering the AO. Got you covered. Oh man, it's almost too easy.